Anjing didn't hesitate to slash Supreme Elder's neck. Hello guys, Mimin Awe here. In this video, Mimin will review manga I Can Do For Everything, Chapter 48. After slashing Shiyuhei Sex Supreme Elder's neck, Anjie then asks, Is the Supreme Elder still bragging now? While holding the cut wound on his neck, Super Mario says that Anjing couldn't kill him. Anjing then asks why he so left the Super Elder live. Super Elder says that if Anjing kill him, Yu Hesek would not let him go. Casually, Anjing says that he could simply eliminate the entire Yuhesek and start attacking Supreme Elder guys. Supreme Elder couldn't believe it. How was this is possible? He was killed by Anjing swords. Now, Anjing was preparing to go to Yuhesek because It's time to destroy the sack that always causing problems for him. After ending life, Liu's father arrived with his brother. They were very shocked to see the USX Supreme Elder lying covered in blood and lifeless. Although in the end, they realized their main purpose in coming here. The refugees and wants to know Liu Yao's current situations. Liu's father asks Liu Yao to walk up. Slowly, Liu Yao opening her eyes and said that she was fine. Seeing that his doctor was fine, Liu Yao's father then asks, "Did she know who killed you as a supreme elder?" Even though she was fine. Leo still felt a slight pain in his heart. She then said that she didn't know who killed the Supreme Elder, because the Supreme Elder hit her until she fell unconscious.